spaces like this are a perfect way to begin understanding what it's like to have awakened states of consciousness. So here we are at the Museum Natural History in Los Angeles. And what you see are you see a bunch of windows into exhibits that are showcasing taxidermical animals. And so you have some bears and some deers and some beavers and some elk, etc. And so what you can begin doing is you can view every single one of these portals as a view into someone's perspective. So here's a portal into one unique expressions perspective, a unique human's perspective. Here's another portal into a unique human perspective, another portal into a unique human perspective, another portal into a unique human perspective, another portal, another portal, another portal, another portal, another portal and so on and so forth. And so what you have is you have this big room that is full of portals into unique human perspectives. And so this would be what it would be like to be with the mind of God, to be with the perception of God, is to be watching through all eyes simultaneously. Can you look through all pairs of eyes simultaneously? So you as this room are God with all of these different portals into unique human expressions. And furthermore, so that's God. And furthermore, if you wanted to take it to the next level, to the absolute level, imagine this room is the absolute perceiving all of the different gods. So this is one creation, one universe, God. This is another creation, another universe, another God. Another creation, another universe, another God and another creation, another universe, another God, and so on and so forth. And this is the room of the multiverse. This is the room of the metaverse. This is the room of the absolute. So these are the different ways that you can begin using analogies to understand the awakened states of consciousness.